Hello my friends, welcome to the ultimate RAV care video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to take care of the new RAV Indigo generation. Um, so any of the instruments for 2024. Also, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to store them, how to travel with them, and what I would like to do on other generations of RAVs. So let's first take a look at how to care for the RAV Indigo generation. So cleaning the RAVs is not a particularly difficult task. At the very base level to protect the instrument, you're just gonna to wanna to get a microfiber cloth and you can get massive packs of these for very cheap uh, online or in, in a lot of grocery stores they have them in the US and I'm sure Europe. And this is the type of cloth that has the small fibers on one side and the shorter small fibers on the other side. I prefer these over other ones because they don't get stuck to anything and they tend to really wipe down well. But if you were really stuck, you could use a towel, you could use something else like that, but you wanna use something that's not gonna scratch any of the finish or the coating on your instrument. After that, you need to find some type of an oil. Now, I tend to like a coconut oil mixture, and I usually make this mixture myself. There's also tons of hand pan oils that you can use as well, but what's important is you're going to want a, an oil without a petroleum base. Um, Vaseline could be used, but it can interact with some coatings on some generations. So the easiest thing to do is use coconut oil, refined coconut oil. Uh, and that's very cheap to get around here. I'm sure you could use other types of oil. Um, I've used frog lube CLP, there's tons of hand pan oils, but in general, coconut oil warmed up a little bit is going to give you the best result. This particular one is a coconut based hand pan oil that my, one of my friends makes, but I would definitely recommend using a small amount, and you can apply it directly to the instrument. If you're using the coconut oil and it's hard, you'd rub it between the pieces on the cloth for a little bit until it dissolves into it. Or if you have one that's a little more pourable, like this brand, you could put it a little bit, little dabs on it like that. Not a lot, you wanna use less than you think, and then take your microfiber cloth and wipe around the instrument, making sure you distribute the oil everywhere. Where this is hydrophobic, this is kind of an extra step that you don't really have to do at super frequently, but I still recommend doing it because you never know um, if you got any of your salt or sweat on there. So I recommend wiping this maybe at least once a week. Um, you could do it twice a week if you're really playing it a lot or in a salty environment. For the backside of the instrument, the same thing can be done. Apply a small amount of oil either to your, your actual cloth or to the back of the instrument and wipe that down too. Because this is the side that's gonna be coming in contact with your body a lot, especially if you're wearing shorts, make sure you wipe this down uh, and you're gonna be just fine. So one thing you do not wanna do with your wrap is presume that it is not going to rust if you don't take care of it. Even the painted generation still needed to be watched for any removal of the coating. Uh, it's ultimately metal, bare metal underneath it. And it's been blued, so it's, it has some protection inherently, but the hydrophobic coating does a very good job at repelling physical water, but you don't want to keep it wet. So in general, do, don't play it in the rain. Um, in some cases, you probably could and it would be okay, but you can't get inside of it to dry it out. So if rain gets inside of your RAV, you could potentially have a problem. So rain's not recommended. I played it in the snow a bunch of times because the snow doesn't go inside of the instrument, and that's okay. Um, in general, keep it in a cool or warm, but dry place. And one of the ways you can prevent any issue long-term, especially if you're storing it in a bag, is just to keep the bag open. Um, you could also get these oxygen absorbers that they have for hand pans when they're being stored in bags. Those work really well at keeping the humidity down. One of the strategies that I use, because I have so many RAVs and so many hand pans, because I'm a professional musician and teacher, is I run a dehumidifier. So if you end up being somebody who has a lot of instruments and you wanna have a sort of bigger care routine for your RAVs or your hand pens, just pick up a cheap dehumidifier or find one secondhand and have that running in the room that they're in with their bags open. That's gonna really help keep them safe and fine forever. So a question that I get frequently is what happens if my old instrument rusts? And really it's more of a cosmetic issue than a functional issue. When you're playing the RAV, unless there was material removed from your instrument, the tuning's not going to change. Uh, and you, I, obviously leaving it out in the rain, having it bubble up, it, it takes a long time for things to sort of bubble rust. 
And I've never in my life owning even the oldest rev I have perfectly fine. So if you follow those steps and you're cleaning it, you'll have no problem. So what happens if your instrument rusts? In reality, rust is just a cosmetic issue. Unless you actually had material removed from your instrument, it's not going to change the sound of it. Um, I know it's scary if you have a really old instrument and you take it out and it's covered in a little bit of rust on the old generations. It's not going to ruin it. It's perfectly fine. It's cosmetic. So using these steps to treat this is a great way of preventing any issues. In previous generations, I had recommended using rubbing alcohol. So on the first generation instruments, there was no coating at all. So rubbing alcohol was good at removing oils and then we would apply oil again on top of it to protect it. This does not hold true for this generation. If you want to keep this one nice and happy, we don't want to use any sort of solvent and that includes rubbing alcohol, nail polish remover, things like that. So just wiping off your oils and then wiping it off with an oily cloth is your best bet. I don't recommend using water. This is my personal preference. I know Rav has said it otherwise. Um, I find not introducing any more humidity to the instrument is a good thing. So oil it maybe twice a week, wipe it down with the cloth whenever you think about it. Um, and especially remember the bottom too, if you're wearing shorts and your legs are up against it, if you're a sweaty person like I am. Um, for older generations, you can use like the first generation that's not coated like this and doesn't have the golden rim. Those ones can be treated in a similar way, um, but they had a little bit more in detail care for them. If you have the blue generation that has the painted blue coating from last, year, last generation before this, those ones can also just be oiled because they already have another type of coating on them to keep them safe. So with those two things, you guys are good to go and you shouldn't have any issue. But again, if you ever do, it's not a big deal. Next up, we're gonna talk about travel and store it. All right, so if you've traveled with your RAV before, you know that a case is pretty important. You don't really need a hard case for these. Uh, I know that they make them. There's companies that, that provide them. These are fine. The soft cases work really well. You're not really gonna have a problem because it's not gonna come out of tune with pressure on it. So I fly actually if I'm traveling. I put this in the, the overhead compartment when I'm flying. And I've done that maybe 15 times and I've never had an issue. You could check them. If you're gonna check them, definitely do get a hard case for them because those machines bash uh, hand pans and wraps if they're in the checked compartment for planes. Easy solution, just carry it on your overhead and put some clothing in it, in the bag. It's, it's how I travel to all my events. The other thing to be wary of when you're traveling is make sure you're not storing your instrument in the bag the entire time. So if you're, you're traveling somewhere and you wanna have it, maybe keep the bag slightly open as you're storing it or just take it out and put it on top of a table or against a couch, just so that it gets some airflow and it's not as humid in there. So next up, we're gonna talk about the rim. And on, on our RAVs, we have this beautiful brass rim on the last two generations. Eventually, when you touch it, it might change color. It's gonna darken a little bit. I personally like them to look like aged brass. There's no issue with them being that color. Some people like them to be shiny and bright, like this one has just opened up a week or two ago. They're still very bright because I haven't been playing it a ton. All of the new generation RAVs come with this little eraser. The instructions are on the back of this, so it tells you what to do even if you don't watch this video. But we're going to be using this little eraser to help clear off some of the brass discoloration. Now if you look on the instrument, you can see on this particular one, there's a little bit of a tarnish here. And all I'm gonna do is take the block. I don't wanna ever get the body of it because this will take off the finish. But I'll just rub this eraser on this edge and you'll see that little tarnish will start to go away. So I'm only using it on the edge, making sure to not get it on the body of the instrument. And you can scrub this in a circle, just like you're erasing a line on a paper. And again, this isn't a necessary step, but it is nice if you want to keep it shiny and brand new. All right, my friends, with those few easy steps, your RAVs or your RAV moons will be safe from rust, be well taken care of, and all polished up if you're someone that cares about the shiny rim on your instruments. The only other thing to think about is not putting pressure on it, not letting it fall, obviously. 
Um, you can ding and bang these and they're gonna stick to the tuning they're in, but it's good to not scrape the coating. So stacking them on top of each other without something between them could scratch the coating. Um, obviously don't let someone hit it with a hard object. These are all obvious things, but it's not as sensitive as a hand pan. So they're pretty darn durable. I've even had some of my instruments when I'm moving be picked up and carried like this and dropped on their face and they survived. So they're pretty tough instruments to have in your arsenal. So enjoy my friends, happy care for your rev and hope this helped you to understand a little bit about long-term care for all the generations. And to summarize, new generation, oil, coconut oil, refined coconut oil, no water, and no solvents like rubbing alcohol. The older generations before the last one with the painted and the brass rim, you can follow my old directions. But for the new generations, including the Rav Moons, this is the way to go. Talk to you guys soon. Stay well.